Hi everyone, this is Kim Goyette, your meditation mother, coming to you live from Austin, Texas. My daughter had an assignment recently where she had to say what kind of candy she was like, and she said that she was like Laffy Taffy because she was flexible and went with the flow. And I thought how important that is for us to have not only a flexible body, but a flexible mind. So this is all about getting into our flexibility in every aspect. We're going to be working on a working into splits. And don't worry, we don't have to get there in full, just moving our way in that direction. So let's get started. Yoga for everybody with meditation mana. All right, you're gonna need, if possible, two blocks today. I normally don't work with any props, but it's helpful to have blocks or something to put underneath your hands to prop yourself up. And if you have a blanket or a towel for a cushion, that will also be helpful. Let's start on hands and knees. We'll spread our fingertips out nice and wide. We're just gonna warm up the spine a little bit, soften the elbows, knees are underneath the hips. And we'll lift the face, drop the belly, lift the tailbone. Exhale, rounding in, tuck the chin. Good, inhale, lift the face, lift the tailbone, drop the belly. Exhale, rounding in. Good, one more time like that. Inhale, lift the face, chest opens, tailbone lifts. Exhale, rounding in. We're going to continue to exhale and sit back towards our seat. If you don't make it all the way, you can use a blanket underneath your knees or underneath your forehead. Relax the elbows all the way down. Inhale, hands and knees, lift the face. Exhale, rounding in. Sit back towards the heels. Start to open up the back a little bit. Good. Inhale, hands and knees, lift the face, drop the belly. Exhale, rounding in, continue to round, sit back towards the heels. Relax the elbows all the way down, and then feel like your outer thighs are pushing wide. We're going to create some space in the low back. Take a deep breath into that space. Good, so the back, the low back's connected to the hamstrings, so we want to open this up a little bit so that we have more mobility in the hamstrings when we work into splits. Take a deep breath into the low back. Send your energy there. Expand. Exhale, soften the chest. Good. Inhale, back to hands and knees. Curl the toes and push all the way back to down dog. Look in between the legs. So our hands stay right where they are. They push down and forward. And then notice my hips start to rise up. Maybe point the toes, lift the heels, come up high on the toes. Push into the hands, drop the chest, and look in between the legs. Shake your head out, yes and no. Really loosening the upper body, and then drop the heels down, maybe getting into the hamstrings a little bit. I know I feel it all the way up the back of the leg. Take a few breaths here, opening up those hammies. Good, inhale, exhale. Good, look in between the hands, walk the feet up to meet the hands in a big forward fold. So let's have nice wide feet. Again, feel like the outer edges of your feet are pushing wide this time and you might feel a big opening, your sits bones separating and then you can fold into that space a little bit more. Grab opposite elbows, shift your weight from right to left, feel very heavy in the upper body and notice any movement or stimulus in the back of the leg. Good, find yourself back to center. Inhale, arms sweep all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good, inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold, take it all the way down. Good, inhale, halfway up, lift the low belly. Exhale to fold. Plant both hands, step back with the left leg to lunge. We're gonna stay in a lunge for a moment Good. Come up high on that back heel. 
front knee is bent, but we're gonna move that front foot forward a little bit. And then we're gonna to start to rock back and forth. So here you can use your blocks under your hands. I love using props to create more space. If you don't have any, that's okay too. And we're just gonna rock back. Notice my heel grounding to the earth, my toes lifting up and then round over that front leg. Drag the heel back, open up that hamstring. Woo! Good, come forward, lift the chest. Let's try it again. Rocking toes come up in front, round in. Drag that heel back, open up the hamstring. Good, and then coming forward, drop that back knee down. If you want, you can use a blanket underneath your knee. Drop all the way down, move that front foot forward again, and then shift your weight forward. Let's open up that left hip flexor. That's gonna be part of the equation as well. So it's not just the hamstrings, it's the hip flexors. So let's take it here for a few breaths. Inhale, chest lifts, roll the shoulders down the back. Exhale, rock the toes up in front, shift your weight, fold over the front foot. Good, inhale, lift the chest, move your chest forward, hips move forward. I feel that in my left hip flexor. And then rocking back, push into the blocks or the ground, fold forward, and then stay here for a few breaths. Feel like your right heel is dragging back, opening up the back of the right leg. Good, move forward, shift your weight forward again. This time you can plant your block flat or on the low end and shift your left hand onto that block. Bring your right hand to your right knee and then lean forward. Really allow that left hip flexor to release. Soften down. Good, just take a few breaths here. And then we'll plant both hands. Let's come to kneeling and then Plant the hands, lift the hips up to down dog. Come up high on those toes again, shift your weight back, hips lift up towards the sky and then drop the heels down, opening up the back of the legs. Look in between the legs, relax your neck. Good, look in between the hands, walk the feet up to meet the hands in a forward fold, exhale. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Stay where you are. I'm gonna move my blocks to the other side, but you can stay right where you are. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, fold, take it down. Inhale, halfway up, lengthen, lift the low belly. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands either on blocks or the floor. Step back with that right leg to lunge. Move your left foot forward a little bit more. Come up high on your right toes and then push into the blocks. Lift your left toes up, rock back, rounding in. Woo, it's a big hamstring stretch for me. Good, feel like that heel is dragging back and then shift your weight forward into that lunge, opening up the hip flexor a little bit on the right side this time. Good, let's do it again. Rocking back, left toes up, rounding in. Good, shift your weight forward, chest lifts, hip flexor. Let's try it one more time. Exhale, rocking back. Push into the blocks or the floor. Feel like that left heel drags back. Big hamstring stretch. And then coming forward. Nice, let's drop that back knee down. Sit up nice and tall, move your front foot forward a little bit and then shift your weight so that that right hip flexor has an opportunity to open. Push into the blocks, rock the toes up in front, rounding in, allow that sensation of the left heel to drag back. Good, shift your right forward, lift the chest, roll the shoulders down the back, get into that right hip flexor. And then push into the blocks, lift the toes up, rounding in. And one more time, inhale here. Stay here, we're going to make that right block flat. Bring your right hand onto the block, left hand onto your left knee, and then shift your weight forward. Really sink in. Release any gripping sensation in that hip flexor. We'll stay here for just a few minutes. Inhale into that space. Exhale, maybe softening. Good. Plant both hands. Let's bring the knees back 
to each other and then push back to down dog. Look in between the legs, lift the heels up, push your hands down and forward, lift the hips up towards the sky and then drop the heels down. Ooh, my hammies are tight today. Look in between the hands, walk those feet up to meet the hands in a forward fold. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Excellent. Let's try it on the other side again. Inhale, arms up. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands with or without block. Step that left leg back to lunge. Good. This time we're going to take the back foot and walk it a few feet even forward, a foot or two forward, so that you can plant your back heel down. I'm going to grab those blocks. I should have put them over on this side. If you have yours handy, great. So now we are in a pyramid pose. So both heels are planted. Separate your feet from right to left, so give yourself some space, like you're on train tracks, not on a tightrope. Bring your hands onto the blocks, and then see if you can feel like your right leg is dragging back. Shift your weight so the right hip moves back, the left hip moves forward, and then fold forward over that front leg. Again, big hamstring opening in the front leg. Really ground down. You might even feel an opening in the back calf on the left side. Take a few breaths here. Good. Push into the blocks. Come into that lunge. Bend the front knee. Lengthen that leg back. Good. And then we're going to do that rocking sensation again. So come up high on the left toes. Rock the right heel back, rounding in. Stay here for a moment. Fold forward over that front leg. Woo! Keep your knee slightly bent so you never want to lock out any joints. Push down and forward on the blocks or on the floor. And then move into that hip flexor opening. Great. Plant your hands. And then drop the back knee down. Let's bring both knees towards each other. Push back to down dog. Good. Maneuver any way you can. So kind of get those sides long. You can wiggle from right to left and then push into the hands. Lift the hips up towards the sky. Deep breath here. Exhale. Walk the feet up to meet the hands in a forward fold. Inhale to rise up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Last time through on each side. This time I'm going to move my blocks. Good. Inhale to rise up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands on the floor or on the block. Step back, right leg lunges. Good. This time we're going to step that right foot forward a little bit until the heel plants all the way down. Move your feet from right to left. Give yourself a little bit of space. And then start to shift your left hip back, your right hip forward. Fold forward over that front leg. Feel like your left heel is dragging back into pyramid pose. Good. Inhale here. Exhale. Good. Push into the blocks. Bend the front knee. Step that leg back into a lunge. Good. Maintain that high heel and back and just rock back. Lift the toes up in front. Push down and forward with the hands. Big hammy stretch. And then shift your weight forward into that hip. Great. One more time, rocking back. Good, and then shift your weight forward. Awesome, drop that back knee down. Both knees come towards each other. Plant the hands, and then lift the hips up. Downward facing dog. Walk the feet up to meet the hands, and a forward fold, exhale. Inhale to rise up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Gently close the eyes. Pause for just a moment. Notice any sensations running through the body and the mind. 
Good. Our body is the first line of connectivity that we really allow ourselves to ground in, the physical body. So knowing that our physical body is flexible and pliable will help us to have a flexible and pliable mind. And gently open the eyes, release the hands. We're going to take it all the way down onto the ground. I'm going to have my blocks towards the top of the mat and my blanket close by. So from here, in fact, I'll bring my blanket on the mat so I can kneel on it. My knees are cushioned, so that takes that part out of the splits equation. And then if you've never done splits, I know I used to uh, be in gymnastics and was very flexible and no longer am, so I cannot do a full split. But we're gonna work our way into wherever you are today and that's totally fine. I love using props because it makes me feel more supported and I'm gonna put them on the high end this time. So they're high up. And what we're gonna do is just walk the blocks out in front of us, almost like we're doing a tabletop pose, but with the block support. Take your right foot and plant it out in front. Good. So now is where we play with our own sensation of our own stability, of our own security. So we're just going to walk that foot out just a little bit. Start to lengthen to where we feel only sensation. So no pulling, no discomfort, just sensation. Good. Maybe you take your blocks a little bit lower on the lower end. And then possibly sliding that back knee back just a little bit. Notice my blocks are supporting me underneath. You can adjust the blocks to wherever you need. Feel really weighted in your hands. Take the pressure out of your legs. Stay here for a few breaths. So this can become kind of a yin posture where we stay for a while and we allow our body to get over the stretch reflex and really allow ourselves to soften into the space little by little, kind of sneaking up on ourselves. So notice, allow your body to relax in this position. If it feels better, you can flex your front foot, whatever feels right for you today. I feel like I can inch my way just a little bit more. Woo! Man, it used to be so easy when I was a teenager, not so much in my 40s, but here we are. Good, so we're just playing with it. Notice where you're feeling sensation. Let's take a few breaths there. For me, I feel it in my hamstring on the right side, my hip flexor on the left side. See where you can soften. Relax your kneecaps. Relax your upper thighs. Good. Relax your shoulders and face. Who knows? Maybe just a fraction of an inch more. We'll see how we feel. Good. And then we'll begin to push our way into the block. So we're going to kind of round in like we did before. Bend the knee, plant the front foot, drag it back, and then plant both knees next to each other. Sit back for a moment just to relax. Pretty big space here. We're going to try the other side. One side might be significantly different than the other. I know my lefty is a little bit tighter than my righty. So let's try that here. You can have your blocks high or low. We're coming into that tabletop pose, blocks underneath the hands, blanket underneath the knees. Let's sweep our left foot forward this time. Good, and we're just gonna stay here. So this might be where you are today and that's totally fine. But let's see if we can play with our own bodies a little bit, walking that foot forward, maybe shifting my weight forward a little bit. If it feels better for you, you can start to extend the leg maybe Flex the foot up in front or point the toes, wherever you are today. And this might be where you're at and that's totally fine. We can work on this little by little together. So we'll start to allow our weight to really shift into the hands, take the pressure off the legs. Front knee always stays slightly bent. You never want to lock out that joint. And we're just going to breathe for a little. Noticing with every exhale how we might be able to soften. Maybe relax into the space, lengthening the front leg or moving the back knee back just a fraction of an inch over time. Good. We'll stay here for a few more breaths. Good. Noticing any gripping sensation, maybe relaxing the kneecaps, the upper thighs. 
the low belly, and finding any residual tension in the body, just bringing some space there. Good, let's take one more breath here. Push into the block, start to round in, drag that heel back, and come to hands and knees. We can move the blocks out of the way. Good. And then we'll shift our weight onto our hands and all the way onto our belly. If you want, you can have the blanket underneath your thighs, and we're just gonna rest here for a moment. Stack the hands, relax the head onto the hand. Allow your heels to roll wide. Create a lot of space in the low back. Good. Come up onto the forearms for just a moment. Elbows are underneath the shoulders, and we're going to drag the elbows back, roll the shoulders open, give a little bit of an opening. We did a big forward fold there, so now we're just going to do a little bit of a counter pose and open up in this way. Great. And then slowly let's push back to hands and knees to child's pose for just a moment, forehead towards the earth. And then slowly making our way up and we can come all the way down onto our backs. If you want, you can use the blanket underneath your head or move it out of the way and slowly lower all the way down. Good. Bend the knees, feet flat on the mat, heels and knees come to touch and then allow the knees to open out to the side. Just relax the thighs for a moment. Great. One more inhale here. And exhale, just releasing any tension in the hip flexors. Let's bring the knees back to center. Hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice squeeze and maybe rotate the knees out like a rowboat, like you're rowing your knees. Good. And opposite direction. One more time around, hug the knees in, and then release the legs all the way down to the corners of the mat. Arms can come along your side, palms face up. And we will relax our eyes closed and just take this moment for ourselves, enjoying this time and space. Nobody expects anything from you or wants anything from you for this moment. Just enjoying the breath, entering and leaving the nose. Breathing, inhale from the toes all the way up through the crown of the head. And just following your breath, exhaling, moving that breath down the body, out the toes. And just a few more like that. Just flowing, going with the flow of the breath. Allowing that movement to ride just like on an ocean wave. And after your exhale, starting to invite some movement into the fingers and toes, ankles and wrists. Maybe hugging the knees into the chest, cradling yourself and rocking side to side. Give your low back a little massage. And then rolling all the way over to one side. Make your way up to seated. So we worked on the flexibility of the body, which is the easy part. Now we're going to work on the flexibility of the mind. 
I have to say that the word resiliency is one of the best adjectives you can give to yourself, a characteristic that really helps with your superpowers and the person that you are, how you overcome things, how you bounce back. And that has to do with the flexibility of the mind. So let's gently close the eyes. You can get into a comfortable seat. And I invite you to start to lengthen the breath. Entering and leaving the nose. Feeling very grounded in the hips, in your seat. And start to bring your mind to a time in your life where you felt very rigid, where your opinions or your beliefs were stuck. Maybe you did not want to change your position or view on something. And just allow for the next moment for you to imagine that scenario. How you felt in your body without any flow. Where did those sensations in the body come up for you? And now I would love for you to change your perspective. Maybe for a moment being open to other possibilities or outcomes. Physically sensing your heart opening to the abundance that awaits you with a heart wide open. And just take a moment to notice how that feels within your body. That sense of flow and flexibility. And maybe visualizing the outcome that would have happened with such flow. And begin to relax your concentration. Just taking a moment to notice the differences between the sensation of rigidity and flexibility and flow. Let's bring the hands to heart center. We will bow and surrender our thinking mind to our feeling heart. And just thank yourself for showing up today, for being present, for being open. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I'm Kim Goyette, your meditation mother. And if you like this video and you want to be the first to receive weekly videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel at Yoga with Meditation Mama. See you next time.